in, in a very loose way on some sort of historical evidence, but basically it was a fiction. And you mentioned the Book of Esther, which is probably also in the same category, and I'm sure we have many, many more examples of that. Um, and finally, I just wanted to give uh, my own theory on something. Uh, Joseph was one of the twelve sons of Jacob, and he was the favorite. And that led to the hatred of his brothers of him because of their father's favoritism. And the father of all the nations, God himself, showed the same love for one of his sons, the Jewish people, which created perhaps a very parallel hatred by the others because why should father favor that particular son? Um, and I wonder if that's something <coughs> that fits in with with uh, an explanation of this hatred. Thank you. Um, Thank you. you. You ask about the the non the non Jewish population of Alexandria. Um, well, it was a Alexandria was a huge metropolitan with uh, an enormous uh, variety. Uh, of, of ethnic groups in it. Um, there were not only native Egyptians and the Greeks and the Jews, but there were also Persians, there were Arabs, there were of course Romans after the Romans uh, had conquered Egypt, <coughs> uh, but there were Thracians, there were Phoenicians, there were, well, you name it and it was there. Um, I have published in the uh, an article about the religious supermarket of Alexandria and try to to make a list of the various of the, of the, the enormous variety of of religions you could find in Alexandria around the turn of the era and uh, I came to more than 15 different uh, religions uh, from these various ethnic groups so uh, it was not just Greeks Jews and Egyptians plus Romans. No, there were many, many, many more uh, uh, ethnic groups in Alexandria. Uh, as to the point of fiction, yeah, um, of course uh, what you say is, is in principle true, but I think that the difference between Philo's treatise uh, and the other examples you mentioned is that the book was published uh, probably within two years after the events in the city where the events took place. So, as I said in my lecture, everyone could easily check whether Philo wrote the truth or had thought things up uh, in order to bolster his own case. Uh, and, and that is the factor that makes me inclined to believe that in the first half, in spite perhaps of, of exaggerations and omissions, that the body uh, of what he says is based on historical fact. And as to your final theological observations, um, I find that too difficult a question to answer. <laughs> A lot for this really very, very interesting lecture. And thanks to uh, the Dutch Academy, the Israeli Academy, and the circumstances which were at the origin of your traveling.